on a wing and a prayer. During my upbringing in the era of evangelical purity rings and the Left Behind book series, I was exposed to various concepts related to faith and God, including the common phrase, the Lord works in mysterious ways. However, the failure of the religious film On a Wing and a Prayer is not mysterious at all. The movie falls short of being competently made and relies heavily on cheap sentimentality and cliches, which undermines its own message. Effective preachers know how to tell a story and link it back to a biblical lesson, but director Sean McNamara fails to grasp his main character's crisis of faith in the same way that a youth pastor would. Based on a true story, On a Wing and a Prayer follows Doug White, played by Dennis Quaid, a devoted husband to Terry, Heather Graham, a father to his two daughters Maggie, Jesse Case, and Bailey, Abigail Rhine, a loving brother to Jeff, Brett Rice, a friendly neighborhood pharmacist, a budding pilot, and a proud resident of Louisiana. Doug is a man of faith whose religion is shaken by the sudden death of his brother. On Easter Sunday, Terry persuades the pilot of their next flight to let Doug sit in the co-pilot seat to lift his spirits. However, the flight takes a turn for the worse when their pilot dies, and Doug must rely on divine intervention and some well-timed radio and phone calls to safely land the plane and protect his family. McNamara, who previously directed the religious film Soul Surfer, simplifies the plot to familiar beats and motifs. The patriarch who turns away from God after a tragedy but finds his way back in the face of adversity. A control tower worker named Dan, Rocky Myers, who reforms his life after the events of that day. A couple, Kari, Jesse Metcalf, and Ashley, Anna Enger Rich, who reconcile during the crisis. These shallow, one-note stories lack surprise or depth. The dialogue by screenwriter Brian Eggiston over-explains what's happening, and the acting and visuals are akin to a Hallmark Channel movie. The music cues, such as Spirit in the Sky during takeoff and a cover of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah in the climax, feel obvious and predictable. My frustration with On a Wing and a Prayer goes beyond its simplistic writing, cheap effects, and TV-style cinematography. McNamara and Edgiston lack faith in the suspense of their story and add unnecessary elements like a surprise storm, a random allergic reaction, and a precocious aspiring aviatrix named Donna, Raina Gray, and her clueless but enthusiastic friend, Buggy Trace Malachy, who explain air control tower jargon. These characters are shallow devices that detract from the story. The filmmakers add Donna's interest in airplanes to include a female character, but it feels forced and insincere. As a woman in the church, I felt unsupported in my ambitions. Women were expected to be supportive of their husbands, but there was little reciprocation. Giving my best to God would never be enough because women were not meant to lead. This sentiment is echoed subtly in On a Wing and a Prayer. When Doug loses hope, Terry prays, holds his hand, and joins him in the co-pilot seat. When Terry prays with her daughters on the plane, she adds, Whatever they want to do, after expressing her desire to see them get married and have children, placing their plans third after marriage and family. Ashley's contribution to the story is building a cockpit in their garage for Terry to guide Doug.